How have you come to the realization that empathy indeed is a practice and not a feeling? And then another question <laughs> attached to this one. Um, and how have you seen people, you know, who took such a training with you also come to re realize this? Yeah. Well, I should clarify, first of all, that there are three different kinds of empathy. Um, effective empathy, somatic empathy, and cognitive empathy. Effective empathy is that feeling, emotional kind of empathy that's caring about someone. It's kind of the way that most of us were taught, this sort of golden rule kind the of empathy. emotional caring caring about your experience and trying to understand you um that's a kind of emotional kind of empathy affective empathy somatic empathy is a physically embodied experience of actually physically feeling your pain and um i i like to call that one sci-fi empathy because <laughs> because you often see it in like the x files or whatever that someone would be able to feel the pain of other people and right That does exist. It's rare, but maybe you've heard about, you know, spouses who have like sympathy pains when their spouse is in labor or, um, or even, um, you know, other people who are kind of taking on the experience or the energy of others. So this is, this is a, it's a real thing. It is hard to teach. Um, and I don't know how useful it is for most of the work that I am teaching people to do. Um, you know, if I were feeling everything that my research subjects were feeling, I may in many cases be debilitated. And so it's important for me to have some kind of distance from their experience. Yeah. Now, cognitive empathy is the kind that I practice and teach. And cognitive empathy is a, a mental practice of, of research and learning and being curious about another person's point of view and trying it on intellectually, trying it on... Um, you know, examining it, exploring how this idea works or how that feeling works or what is this, where does this point of view come from? Really understanding that other person's point of view. There's a, um, in, uh, in like debate skills, there's a, there's a kind of principle that you should be able to articulate your opponent's argument as well or better than they can. This is an empathy practice, right? So it's like cognitive empathy is about, you know, am I able to articulate your point of view as well or better than than you can. And that practice, um, when we do it well, when we practice unconditional welcome, it does usually have the side effect of caring, of, mm. of really feeling for someone else.